Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Trading Fearless and uh, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for uh, stopping by. If you're new, welcome. As always, uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Um, I appreciate that. So as always, let's jump right into it. Today's tutorial is actually going to be focused more on the active trader. Okay, uh, part of this. And I'm going to just show you a few different uh, tools and ways to set it up that you might not know or know of or are aware of. So first off, if you uh, come up here to the little uh, box, um, if you click show sidebar in cells, okay, it actually gives you all these options, right, on all your charts. So if you want to show active trader in this chart, you could do it. Um, what I have is I have it in its own little chart um, section, right? And then when you're done, if you kind of want to get a little more uh, space on your charts, um, just uncheck that and it'll be there. The second thing is to be able to hide all this, right? Just click the slow mouse or sorry, the slow arrow. Okay, down. Also, right here you have buy market, sell market, cancel all, flat, flat now. Um, just click this little wheel wrench, and then you see them all over here. If you want to remove them, add them. Like, let's say I want to get rid of the cancel all and flat. I click OK. They disappear. If I want to add them, I could just double click, cancel all, or I could grab because it'll come down here. Or I could grab it, flat now, left click, hold your mouse, and drop it. And then if you want to move it up or down, you can. Once it's over here, you could just click move up. If you also want to remove it, okay, just double left click really quick, and it'll also remove it. Just another uh, quick little kind of tool um, of what you could do. Once you're done, select OK. And here they are. Now, under quantity, right, you could do 1, 3, 5, 10, 20. Um, if you want to raise that, okay, you could go into setup and change, uh, have, like, your minimums uh, directly through there, how many shares uh, you kind of, what's your max, and it'll readjust apart from that. Um, auto send is, if you check auto send, what it does is if you just left click, Okay, so let's say I want to be a buyer down here. I just left click it. It automatically puts it on the chart for me. If I want to cancel it, just cancel all. Or I could come over here, left click. If I do the red ones, watch what will happen. If I just do like my targets, because remember it's a no-CO, it doesn't know that I want to cancel all of them. It will only cancel that one order. But if you cancel the green, right, because this is a long trade with my take profit stop loss, um, it'll cancel all the orders for you. And again, I have my templates. You could see I have multiple templates. So if I want uh, just where my target is 50.50, uh, which is ticks, right, for the S&P futures. Uh, again, if you're doing stocks, so it would just be 50 cents in a $2 stop, things like that. If you want to enable them or unenable them, that's all you need to do. Um, TIF is time and force. You could do day or good till cancel. And then if you want to do multiple brackets, right? Let's say I want to do a dollar here with a two dollar minus 2.00, right? And then have each one at minus 2.00, right? So I could have one, two, three. Right, I could just put the order in here and it'll automatically put the orders in and you could see the stop would be all in one place while your targets are staggered to the upside. So um, that's how those work. And then uh, if you just want a single order, that's it. Just put the order in. No stops. You can control it on your own. And then if you want down here, there's like a buy sell right position if you have any positions if you want to hide this to where you don't see it or customize it 
Uh, you could click here. If you click Hide Position Summary, yes. Okay, and then it's hidden. And then if you come right here for your orders, bid size, ask, PL, left click this little wheel wrench, customize, right? Now, if you want to reshow the what we just deleted, click that. There it is. If we want to customize it, we can customize this. I personally like it the way I have it. Um, I keep it simple. Show me my orders. Show me my bid and ask. Show me what the current price is and then my P&L on the open close. That's all I have. That's all I really care. I care about. Um, if you want to see volume, kind of like a volume profile, uh, you can add that too, right? So you could say, hey, look, if we start to kind of zoom in or or sorry, uh, go up or down, where is the most volume traded? But for me, that's not something that I personally care about um, when I'm looking at the uh, order dome. So I'll just double click left that and double left click it. It'll remove it and then OK. So um, that's pretty much it for a quick little tutorial on the active trader uh, for Thinkorswim. Again, thank you for uh, watching. Hope you learned something. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon.